and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason, it's Empoli up against Ren. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And the starting 11 for Empoli. Well, as you can see, it's a fairly narrow midfield, so it does mean that the fullbacks need to break forward at the right time. But it's the number 10 who really has to affect the game today. Well, here's how Ren will line up for this match. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Grazie per essere qui oggi e buon divertimento! And the game begins. Santa Maria. It's with Mata. An incisive pass. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Couldn't hang on to it. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he's a good all-round finisher, but I think his greatest attribute is his heading ability. He seems to hang in the air, he's got great technique when the ball comes onto his head, and he usually hits the target. That's his greatest skill. They're not giving their opponents any time to breathe. Goalkeeper should take charge. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Pina Monti. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Corner kick played in. Well, they survived the attack. Well, couldn't keep it. He's found a pocket of space. Can he play it in? Well, it would have been a chance, but the run was mistimed offside. Really intense pressure applied. Perfect tackle.
Federico Di Francesco. Now, let's see what they can do here. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Di Francesco. Oh, good save. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Terrier. Can he give them the advantage? And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Committed challenge. Lovro Meyer. Delightful pass. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. Federico Di Francesco in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Trying to deliver it accurately. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. And played in. Not the best clearance. And in the end, no damage done. Crossing opportunity. Here's Burigo. Now a decent position. Making sure it didn't get past him. Henderson. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. to the advanced position can he finish might still be able to do a bit of damage well, no danger now and that's great work to keep it in play seemed to switch off for a moment and now a throw in and the substitution will occur now
Henderson read it superbly to take back possession oh that's a pass of high quality and diving to thwart him Who's going to get on the end of it? Not quite spot on with that one. He's got to score! And the keeper diving to thwart him. And there's the delivery. Well, no end product. Tight. Well, it could be on for him here. Really vital interception. Henderson. Just 15 minutes remaining. Sliding in, winning the ball, and what's more, they've kept it. Lovro Meyer. And that pass could be troublesome. He's managed to get in behind. Safe, but still a chance. Well, able to survive that attacking push. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Well, they've decided to make a change. Tight. Lovro Meyer. And here's Laborg. Santa Maria. Well, able to close down the short. Oh dear. Not a great effort, was it? Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. And so into the final five minutes. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Traore. Chance to cross. Oh, great save to keep the minute. Well, that's a brilliant save, and it just gives them that little bit of hope now. And over comes the corner. And I think the threat has been averted. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance.
His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today. 